Hey YouTube, it's the Echo Man here. Today I'm going to show you how to change the disc brakes on your 2000 to 2005 Toyota Echo. This would be the same process for any uh, import or domestic passenger vehicle. By the end of this video, you will have the confidence and know-how how to change your own front disc brakes. Changing your own brakes is easy, fun, and affordable. You can get the parts online. One of my favorite places is Amazon. Uh, here I'm looking for front disc brakes for a Toyota Echo. And there you go. Well under 50 bucks. Before you begin, always remember safety. Chalk your wheel tires, make sure your parking brakes on and uh, leave the car in park. Uh, so here we are. Um, first step is to pry off the hubcap. Just use a screwdriver. Be careful not to pry too hard. Uh, you do get brittle. Now I've got the car on the ground at this point. It makes loosening the lug nuts easy. Uh, you can also use some WD-40 if they're a bit rusty or stuck. I sped the video up a bit here just for t to shrink the time. Uh, that's a 21 millimeter socket. Most cars come with a jack and uh, tire iron. You can certainly use that. So once you have the wheel off, the next step is to open the hood and open the reservoir cap on your master cylinder. As we replace the brakes, uh, fluid's going to go back up into the master cylinder when we compress the wheel cylinders. Uh, wheel cylinders typically use a C-clamp. Uh, in this case, a Toyota is very easy. You can use a screwdriver to open up the caliper. Effectively spreading the pads apart. And when you do that, it shoots uh, fluid right back into the master cylinder. Checking the fluid level in your master cylinder is actually a great indication of the wear on your brake pads. You don't have to take the wheels off or look. If your fluid is low, you know your brake pads have worn. So here we're um, removing the bottom bolt. There's two bolts that hold the caliper on. Uh, they're 14 millimeters. I remove the bottom and loosen the top. You don't need to take off the top. This way you can flap the caliper up like a clam uh, and without disturbing the brake line. So here's the old pads. They come out quite easy, just by hand. These ones look pretty worn. Uh, remove the old retaining clips. They just pop out. You can use a screwdriver. Uh, your new brake pads should have new uh, retaining clips with them. Here's a comparison. The new pads with the old pads. You can see there's quite a bit of wear. These are the new retaining clips uh, getting installed. They just snap in. Top and bottom. A little tricky sometimes. And the new pads. They just pop in by hand. There you go. Pads are in. Close the caliper, replace that bottom screw. Again, it's a 14 millimeter. The Toyota service manual says 30 foot pounds. Uh, I don't own a torque wrench, uh, most people don't, uh, but I do have great muscle memory. So I just retighten it about the same tightness as uh, when I took it off. 
you never want to over tighten these things or, or make it insufferably hard so you can't get it off the next time. So just kind of remember how much effort it took to loosen them and that's the same kind of pressure effort you want to do when you retighten them. And that's it, the caliper's in place, the bolts are tightened, you got your new pads on. Um, just work in reverse procedure, put the wheel back on. I sped up the video again here. Uh, just remember to, once you do the other side, it's the same procedure. Uh, once you do the other side, don't forget to put the cap back on your master cylinder. And... Uh, pump the brakes a few times before you take it for a test drive because the pedal is going to be low it'll take a few pumps to reset the calipers and tighten your brakes up again guys it's an absolute joy to work on Toyotas it's so easy you can save tons of money by doing these kind of repairs yourself uh, this video we did the front disc brakes. Uh, next video I'm going to be doing the rear drum brakes. A little bit more involved, a little bit more technical. Stay tuned for that. And then uh, there'll be a third video in this series on how to bleed your brakes. I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, if you have any questions, leave it in the comments. Uh, and don't forget to like and subscribe. <laughs>